The United Way spends a lot of time bringing people together to work on food security issues. We have a lot of community conversations. We go out and we find resources. We coordinate interconnections between the food banks, the meal programs, so that we have hot meals going to people who are sheltering in motels right now in the Owen Sound area who are homeless. So food is a really important piece to us. The challenges our food banks are facing right now is the ability to fundraise, but they're also starting to see a real increase in need. And it's a real challenge to understand what is being donated as well. Do they have the capacity and freezer space? Do they have the refrigeration space? And the healthiest food tends to be the most perishable food. So we've spent a lot of time and energy as well as a lot of money buying freezers and fridges so that most nutritionally dense food is available to people through food banks and through these meal programs. We're so thrilled with our new NPX food app as it's illustrated what the food insecurity issues are in our community. Data is just one part of the food story, but it's a very important part because it tells our donors, it tells the community, it tells decision makers what's happening and how important solving these food insecurity issues are. When we look at these dashboards and we see a 300% increase in the number of meals that are being provided to people, we start to question, well, why? And what need is it serving beyond just food? Is it connections? Is it mental health? Is it having a sense of security? Is it just dealing with the sheer stress of enduring this pandemic? And how can we better meet those needs? And, and what communities, you know, looking at what communities, where the numbers are are climbing, there's stories behind that data, and having this accessible and available to the community to kind of have a look at and see what's going on, it's really important part of the conversation. Over 100,000 meals in 2020 have been provided out to our community. We have nine meal programs that are up and running right now. We have a series of community gardens, but we've been able to track a little bit of data around what they were able to produce this fall. And certainly going into 2021 in the summer, all of them have scales now and we'll be weighing that produce. So we can really celebrate and see what these community gardens are bringing to the kitchen table. Our food banks are still entering the data. The app is fairly new. We're we're so pleased with uh, the Community Foundation, Gray Bruce, as well as Bruce Power in uh, funding scales and just really demonstrating how much food is really being moved through food banks and feeding people in our community. Our last dashboard is the demographics. So what is their income source? Disability, are they working? As well as how many are we helping in terms of children? How many are adults? How many seniors are there? Because that's really important to understand who it is that is hungry in our community and how we can help them. And we are capturing as much as we can about the volunteer effort. We have amazing volunteers that are running these programs as well as incredible staff across the board in Gray and Bruce County. And they're working flat out in this pandemic. And we're just trying to capture that volunteer effort that's going in to support feeding all these people throughout our region. The public can view the public dashboards at foodbrucegray.com. Organizations can view the behind the scenes, they can register. So if you are running a program and we're not aware of your program, get a hold of us and you can uh, let us know what you're doing in your community to support people through food.